In order to become a PicMonkey Pro, we need to start with understanding the editor tools. You'll see them on the left. You can click this carrot to collapse, and you can click on it to expand the entire sidebar. Let's walk through the toolbar from top to bottom. At the top left, you'll see text. You can click add text to add text at any time, or you can use our text layouts. You'll also see photos and videos. PicMonkey has millions of stock photos that you can use, and videos too. Then you'll see graphics. We have a wide variety of graphics that you can browse through and click through. You can also search all graphics for easy access. The last icon at the top is Draw. As you can see, there are multiple brushes and this tool will come in handy. The Remove Background feature is a one-click solution to removing background. Pro effects are amazing and we'll dive into those later. The Shadows and Outline tool allow you to add shadows and outline to any layer you have selected. You can adjust the settings and even knock out an outline. Drop shadows are always a good idea and they're such a fun addition to any design. Underneath shadows and outline, you'll see animate. Our animation tool is the perfect way to add motion to your designs. Under animate, you'll see textures. PicMonkey has tons of textures that you can use and apply to your layers or you can add your own. From glitter to gradient, you name it, We've got it. Underneath textures, you'll see effects. Effects can be used on any photo, but also on any layer. Canvas edits are basic things like crop, exposure, and you'll see color changer, one of my favorites. You'll basically be able to change the hue, saturation, and luminance of any color in your image. You'll also see our touch-up tool, which is amazing to give your image a quick touch-up. You'll also see frames, tint color, fade and blend modes, the ability to crop and erase a layer, and more. At the top right, you'll see a little bell. That's where you'll see PicMonkey notifications. So whenever we have something exciting to tell you, we'll notify you via the notification bell. Now let's go over your layers panel. Anything that you add to your canvas will appear on your layers panel. This is a really easy way to drag things around and place them behind an object. You can close the panel at any time and reopen it by clicking on the icons at the bottom. You'll also see pages. This is where you can add, duplicate, and delete pages in your design. Now let's head to the bottom of the page where you'll see the settings icon. This is where you can make alignment adjustments and adjustments to your workspace. You can show your grid on your canvas by selecting a preset size or typing in the amount of rows and columns you'd like to see. You'll also be able to see objects off of your canvas and work in dark mode or light mode. Next to settings, you'll see an icon that you can hold down to see a before and after of your work. And last but not least, at the top of the page, you'll see templates, collage, themes, smart resize, add an image, and more. We'll go over all of these in the next lessons. Next up, start with the photo from your computer.